Hi, I'm Anne Marie from the Bicton Grace Gallery, and today I have with me Parnia. Hello, <laughs> and welcome. Thank you. So, the reason we're talking today is for two reasons. So, Parnia has become one of our sentiment artists, which we will disclose and show soon, but what's racing towards is the exhibition. So, this is your debut exhibition as well. What did you call it earlier? Flagship. The flagship. Yeah. The flagship of you. It's the first UK one. Well, I've only done one, ex I've done two exhibitions before, but one was just purely online. Yep. And that was just establishing the Idol Biro. And Which then we're going to talk about, because yes. we need to know a bit more about you. Okay, fair. Right, so let's start with the that. first big, this is the first like home physical yeah. collection that people can actually come see like yeah. in an exhibition. She's really excited. Yeah, it is. She's so excited. So the Idol Biro, mm. this is what you called yourself. Just talk a bit about that. Um, so about? how did it begin? So way back. No, um, on the 25th of May, which is any day now, it will be exactly one year since the Idol Barrio has been running, which oh, is, wow. yeah, yeah, how cool is that? How cool that this exhibition, three days later, is launching. Yeah. So it will basically be the one year anniversary Brilliant. of the Idol Barrio, which I wouldn't like anyone watching who says, like, how, how did you do it? I'm not like, oh, yeah, just chuck a company together and in a year it will be like that. I don't think people realise that for... I think the first face I actually like have recorded somewhere is uh, 2011. I drew a face, I think. So just to, just describe what the Idol Biro is. So for anybody that doesn't know, so my artwork is just faces and sorry. Then beginning and what, what was she talking about? Face. So um, the Idol Biro is. I am the Idol Biro, and it's yeah. artwork which happens to just be large scale portraits yes. drawn specifically out of. Biro pen. Amazing. So, but when I first started drawing faces way back, um, it'd be with whatever I could find around the house. So yeah. pencil. But why did you settle on Biro? Well, it's because when I was traveling, so I've spent like the past 10 years traveling quite a lot, that it was kind of like my currency of yeah. if I, someone let me stay somewhere or something like that. I always just drew like their pet or I drew them or just as like a token of Sometimes I actually felt, every time I felt a bit lame, mm. being like, oh, he, I drew you. <laughs> but in hindsight now, I know a lot of people who probably didn't keep the portraits oh. are like kicking themselves. Why and would I'm they like, not keep them? I don't know, like, oh, I've seen, I've gone back to visit people and it's like scrunched up under the bed and I'm like, <laughs> my heart. <laughs> but um, the one thing I found was like, no matter where you go, there's always a buyer in the house. And then also with traveling with the work, like yeah, say if I was, I'd have sense. like a little folder and I'd keep it, but I'd chuck it in the bottom of my um, suitcase. The biro is the least likely to get smudged. Because yeah. the other thing that I always have on me is hairspray. Mm. So like you just fix it. Yeah. Whereas pencil, it was smudging, especially with my hands, like yeah, when I'm trying to figure it. out my style or like just practicing drawing faces, which I have been for like, yeah, 13, 14 years. I just didn't enjoy pencil as much and I didn't like the smudge effect anyway. I, yeah. I liked crisp, clean lines, so it just... So you've always been an artist. It's always been something that you've done or is it something that you did other things and this was always in the background? It's never been a job. Yep. So it's never been, it's always actually been, and I hate what I sound like, it's always been that like fun little hobby, but no, you'd never do it as a job because like that wouldn't be taken seriously. Mm. But the irony is like, I did all the jobs that you take seriously. Yep. Whilst I was good at them and I enjoyed them for a period of time, I wasn't, I just knew I could be happier mm -hmm. and I wasn't at the level of, of success or at the trajectory of like earning and happiness that I could be. Yeah. It just wasn't happening fast enough. So it just kind of like, the idle bar would have never happened at any other time. Mm. It just was like the divine timing of being so, f can I swear? Yeah. Fudging over. <laughs> so <acceptable>. over. <laughs> being underpaid and overworked. Yeah. So over people being like, work smart, not hard, and all these things. And I was just like, well, how about I Who work says smart? that, work smart, not Influencers, hard? mate. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, all right. So I just thought, um, why don't I work smart and hard and also mm. do whatever I want to do? Yeah. Because I am, whenever I put my mind to anything, I, I do know that I am good at whatever I put my mind to. So I was like, well, if I kind of throw the kitchen sink at it, I don't see how it wouldn't work. Yeah. And I fortunately, as a hobby, had enough experience drawing faces yeah. that I knew I was good enough. That's the cool thing about art. <laughs> you can be shit and it's still good. <laughs> bad. <laughs> you can be bad and it's still good. 
It's so, an interpretation from whoever's looking at it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. And it's the hardest thing, I think, as an artist to know if you're good or bad. I mean, some do. Some just say, I know I'm good. Um, well, work I think is bad. It sells for 10 times it. more yeah. than mine does. So I'm yeah. like, well, all right. <laughs> I know so someone likes it. This collection that you're showing, what can you tell us about this particular collection? So this is called um, British Icons. Yeah. Um, gone Too Soon. So it's a collection of well-known British, uh, I want to say celebrities, because some are more... Um, like social media yeah. presence, oh, okay. a bigger social media presence. Others are actual, actual, uh, just more respected names in the industry. Yeah. But it's all in, in like, I'd say like the creative industry. So there's actors, singers, authors, mm. um, presenters. So it's just people, yeah, those kind of people. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they're all, again, black and white in biro, but yeah. what no one knows is this is the last, this is why this collection is pretty cool, it's the last time I'm sticking to just Biro. Oh! So after the collection, and then I've got some commissions that have been banking up over the time I've been drawing the collection, yeah. then come August, I'm experimenting. Okay. I'm going to take some time out to experiment with the next style, which I then will do. Which means you're not travelling. <laughs> You'll be staying put because you're not going to just have your bike right? No, I'm going to a country where it needs to have okay. colour in the portrait. It oh, kind of goes hand in hand with the uh, mm. people I'm focusing on. We're delving into the next. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but that's not set in stone either, though, so don't talk about the bag <laughs> until you secure the bag. <laughs> um, so we've only got, oh my gosh, it's less than. Don't. I just <laughs> did the maths. It's, um, it's, yeah, it's less, it's nine days. Nine days. I think I've got nine days and I haven't drawn the whole collection yet. Oh, but it's a vibe. You could just... That's what you think. <laughs> but like... Yeah. Um, but they're quite big, aren't they? They're, they're, so they're A0 size. Yeah. Um, and as I was crying about the other day is... So there's some like really mega names on this list and then there's some not as well known. Well, they're all well known, but not as well known. Yeah. And then also some faces which will definitely draw a lot more attention. So I've tried to leave those names till later to keep people captivated and right. stay engaged. But because you keep people posted on Instagram, don't yeah, you? Yeah, this um, is the only time I've actually taken people. So my previous collection in Kenya, which wasn't of well-known faces, it was of um, the Maasai tribe. Wow, beautiful. I did the grand reveal at the end with a video of each one, like a cool reveal video. Um, whereas this time I've just decided, do you know what? I got people to vote for who they wanted in the collection. And then, oh, nice. yeah, I just, I really wanted it. The thing with it being in England is I was, I never was planning on doing a collection mm. here. But then um, a chick who does some of my web stuff is Australian and is like a pop fanatic. And she was like, how can you be in London right now and not do a collection there? And I was like, oh, because it's my mm. home. I just didn't see how impressive it was. And she just was like the novelty of doing like famous British icons. And like, yeah. so she actually sold the idea to me. And, and so, they're all British as well. They're yeah, yeah, British, they're yeah. all British. And so with, um, I, I was like, do you know what? My following is mostly English people who have watched this develop over the past year. So mm -hmm. I was like, do you know what? Because I, I wasn't the one who was like, I'm going to do this and had the vision straight away. I was like, I want this to be like um, interactive. So people have, voted i i first picked the names i'd be happy to do because it's mm. something if something doesn't sell it has to be a piece that i'm happy to have on my wall yeah so that's kind of the first thing um so i picked a bunch of names that i really liked then i put it to vote we narrowed it down to 10 names but i'm on the last i've got like two faces to draw after what i'm currently doing and they're both wrinkly men and so that's a bit more time. we say that like, oh, Byra, it's super quick. Like one thing that takes ages is hair. Mm. Another is black space. Yeah. But the thing that takes the longest is like, and I'm not talking about like, oh, your crow's feet or anything like that. I'm talking about like old men yeah. or women, but these have to be two old men with a lot of wrinkles. Because it's, if you get them wrong, that's yeah. the expression. So yeah. you can see that it's not quite, so you, yeah. You no. couldn't have done them first, could you? That would have been just too easy. Oh, uh, <laughs> I actually did the dark ones first, thinking they'd take the look. I just didn't, I've just realised I've been left now with these two, and I'm like, oh. No sleep for you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the exhibition is on Friday the 3rd, 
of June. Yes. Um, and it's very exciting, like I said. It's going to be from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. here at Bickerton Grace Gallery, situated within Sterling Eco Bikes. Um, we are at 60 The Highway, E1W TBF. I put all the details around us as well. Um, so, yeah, we really just advise you to come along, meet Parnia, and see these incredible portraits. Yeah. And the ones that aren't finished yet as well. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you'll arrive and there'll be no wrinkly men. You'll know exactly what I've done. I'm like, sorry, I bailed. <laughs> no, there will be, and there's going to be such a great oh, you turnout just have to as well. Them here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm excited. It's going to be a really awesome turnout. So, and it also ties in with. I nearly forgot to mention um, a program that you just featured on. Do you want to tell us a bit about that? Yeah. So um, last year I went out to Jordan in October and filmed SAS Who Dares Wins, which was epic. Mm. Um, Whilst there isn't a direct connection between that and the exhibition, when I first mm. met you, I was saying how I would like to time it yeah. to the show kind of finishing, which it, the last episode was last week. Mm. So if any of you are fans of it, there will be a lot of the recruits and potentially staff, DS maybe, um, at the event. Yeah. And one more thing I did want to add actually was a few people who follow but don't know me physically or yeah. personally um have said like oh is it something i can come to like i want to make it super clear i've put it publicly because it's for absolutely anyone to come to yeah. i've got quite a few people who don't know anyone and they're just fully coming on their own or they're grabbing a friend to come yeah. with there's going to be loads of people like that there therefore yeah. so just come in have a glass of prosecco or gin if i can get it in time <laughs> and um we're very friendly and approachable here and it's a wonderful <laughs> space yeah. And there's something for everyone to see. It is just, it's just, it's lovely. So, you, yeah, you'll love it. So, yeah, do come along. And we'll keep you posted even closer to the time, although time I'm is... spamming everyone all the time, so <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, I will. Yeah, so we'll be all over um, Instagram and posting like crazy on the final few days. Yeah. Yeah. So, lovely. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much. And we'll speak soon. Thank and cool. we'll see cool. you very soon. Take care.